Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrinceandTrader.com, here with your Friday Market Webcast. Um, we march on, okay? So I'm going to say all the broken record things that I've been saying to you guys for the last couple few weeks. So look, until the bears can convert an area that has some meaning to it and convert it to resistance and then take the next step of executing price below it and below that, we will continue to go higher. We will continue to make all-time highs. We will march along this upper band and you have a few choices. You can fight it, which is what people are doing elsewhere, and you can lose money and you can get upset about geopolitics, central banking, the you know the the you know this this conception that we're somehow parabolic which we're not I mean look at that chart nobody's parabolic here the only parabolic move is when we bounced off the the Iran news and all that did was it was a hiccup that got us right back into this flow to head higher okay you can complain about geopolitics the Fed you you name it all of it valuations I hear it all day all the time the tape doesn't care. The tape will care when the tape is ready to care. And until then, you can you 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 can short it and lose money. Or and and we we've been short and you can make money short just as long as you understand that you're that it's a temporary trade. Um you can get out of the way if you just can't bring yourself to buy it. Or you can be long uh, we didn't do a whole heck of a lot yesterday. We got long 3304 and then we just kind of sat around and waited and it, you know, eventually it, it, it moved to the upside. Um, and it continues to do a lot of the movement in Globex versus the regular session, which is frustrating, um, to people that, you know, are in here trying to, you know, to day trade these markets, but sometimes that's what the tape does. Um, so we continue to grind it. The, 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 the Bollinger bands are not blown out at all. We're at 3.9. It's just a, it's a steady drip, 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 drip. Then it'll whoosh drip, drip, drip. So look, you know, get out of the way, get long. You can be briefly short, but if you're short fighting it and adding, this is how you can really screw up your account. So you can not like what I'm saying to you, but I'm right and stop doing it or you're not going to have any bullets left for when the market actually does come down. Um, hourly chart, same shit, different time frame. It rejects down here early on. You can't even see the weekly pivot on here. It's down at 32.43 and it's just has no interest at all in the last two days in trading below even the hourly mid band. Okay. So look, it'll go down when it's ready. But until it's ready, don't fuel, don't, don't, don't fuel the fire with, you know, with day trade shorts that turn into swing shorts because you just can't take a loss and we're going to go down and all the other crap that, you've, that, that people tell themselves. This is the perfect market for that stuff. And if you spent yesterday, you know, digging yourself a hole, at a minimum, learn from it. Okay? That did not happen in my room. Like I said, we got long 3304. We bitched and moaned about how choppy it's been the last couple of days and then we just hung out and waited to see what was going to happen and as it headed into the close uh there was a setup that we use um uh that works with regard to times of day and and that that worked out really well um so as for today 2875 is the high of the moment um you've got Volume weighted average price at 23. You've got proprietary moving average 24.75. You've got the hourly mid band at 19 and change. Um, I'd like to see the hourly mid band get a look this morning, and we'll see what uh, you know. We'll see we'll see what it wants to do. But look, these dips are all getting bought until the bears can convert an area that matters, keep it converted, and execute price to the downside. Okay, that's the test. I'm not worried about picking a top or buying the high, okay? You can have the first 10% of this move, you know? If it's, a, if it's a 20 handle move to the downside, you can have the first two handles. Have it. Good for you. 
but I bet if you're grabbing those, you've been wrong like seven or eight times before that. So net net, you're probably not having a good time. You can have the first 10% and you can have the last 10%. I want the 80% in the middle. So when the bears start to execute lower highs, we will pick our spots and get short. That's how you do it. But you also have to be very cognizant of the fact of, look, it's holding, it's holding, it's holding. Screw this. It's going, you know, get long, which is what happened down at 04. It just wanted no part of anything below that. Just like it wanted no part of, of, of anything below um, 81 here, matching lows here, 79. You just have to recognize the support and the bounces for what they are. They are support. They are support. So I'm on you this morning because I look around elsewhere and I see just people fighting it and fighting it and fighting it. And is that indicative of the fact that eventually here, pretty soon, we're probably going to be done? Yeah. But my concern always is, what do you have left psychologically by the time it does turn if you've been sitting around fighting it for a month because you want to pick the top? I don't know why. Just so you can tweet about it. I mean, seriously. Stop. The trend is higher until it's not. Accept it. And if you just can't bring yourself to buy it, then stand aside. But don't sit around getting murdered all day long. So we'll see if they can convert. Look, if they can convert 20, they can get back to 10. They can get back to 10, they can, you know, it, it, it's there for them. It's there. It's there. It's, you know, but we are not quite 90 handles above um, uh, weekly pivot. My other concern is if it continues to climb, if it does this for another day or two, um, and they really want to squeeze the shorts, um, you can seek 3350 pretty fast. And um, if, if we get there, um, you know, then you will see the bands expand on the daily chart and price will go up really rapidly from there. Maybe not today, but early next week. So today's a pretty big day if you're a bear. You got to have a good day. I think you got to close below 3320 in order to be part of the conversation Sunday into Monday, unless you get news. All right, this has been a long one, but I want to sit to really sit down and talk to you guys about fighting markets. All right, everybody have a great day. More stuff out on social. Have a great weekend. Trade them well. I'll talk to you Monday. Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook, and join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade them well.